Now, Andrew, Andrew Lloyd Webber's production of Cinderella is set to return to the West End later this year, and it's already sparking debate because television presenter Kirsty Allsop said, is there any hope for a fairer, kinder depiction of stepmothers? So many children will have step-parents. Depicting them as evil is profoundly damaging. Mm. Um, and, you know, it's funny, because when I first saw this, I just saw a headline. I thought, oh, I hope it's not going to be one of those, let's ban Cinderella, let's ban something else. But actually, when I read it, I hadn't thought about it before very much, is that it is interesting how it's mm -hmm. always stepmothers who are portrayed mm -hmm. as the wicked or the evil stepmother. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I am a, an officially a stepmother, although we don't kind of call me that very often. And I have that with my stepchildren. Mm -hmm. I actually sign things from your wicked stepmother. It's, it's like a term of endearment, yeah. in a way. Mm -hmm. um, but it is true, Denise, isn't it, that it's always... Oh, there we all are, look. All that same as OBE, the OBE day. So, you know, I'm very lucky. I have a fantastic relationship. Um, with my stepchildren. Um, but it is interesting, Denise, how it's always stepmothers, and yet I always think a stepmother has to be very nurturing, actually. You know, mm. it's a very difficult balance and a fine tightrope you're walking. It is a very difficult balance, and I think how stepmothers are perceived is really how a relationship ends. You know, I mean, I, um, I was just so thrilled when my ex-husband, Tim, the boy's dad, you know, the fact that it's Jo, because she's the most wonderful stepmother. We have a great relationship. Similarly, I do with Lewis. Um, but it's, it, I think that there's also someone I was to, oh, there's my brood. Mm -hmm. There's also um, someone I was talking to recently who um, said that, that she has a stepson who is about eight. And unfortunately, even though her partner's ex-wife has moved on and has her own partner, she does everything she can to belittle this particular lady. She says to the little boy, you know, you're, you're not allowed to, um, don't you be trying to cuddle her at night and say goodbye because she's a mean, mean stepmother and she actually uses that word. So the little boy is in turn incredibly confused and I think it's always very sad when kids are used as a pawn in the game because step parenting correctly is a very, it's a very difficult, uh, difficult job. It is a difficult job, Janet. You've done it. Yeah, I've... Uh... On both occasions, I, I found that the children involved did get messages from their mother wow. uh, and they were told things. Uh, and uh, in one of the cases, uh, the little boy would arrive in clothes, uh, you know, that were really old and looked, you know, a bit threadbare. And, and we were always buying him new clothes because the inference was, you know, that the, the stepmom will you know, cough up oh, yeah, yeah. and never giving him any toys and also coaching him in what toys to ask for for Christmas mm. or birthday. And I think a lot of that goes on. And with my other stepson, well, he his mother only saw him during the school holidays and, uh, you know, he lived with his father, my husband, uh, and, and me and went to special school. And so we had our routine that we established with him, uh, which was, you know, firm. And we had our, you know, firm but fair. But when he went back to his mother and then we got him back, of course, we had to start again from mm. scratch. Yeah. And he would say, mummy lets me sleep in her bed and mummy lets me do this and that. And, you know, part of your inside seethes with rage. Mm but you can't show it. No, it's okay. tricky. You know, I feel like the whole, you know, step-parents, I don't even like the terminology of step-parents or step or step stepchildren. I feel like it's about a power struggle sometimes. You know, a, a woman's presence in a home is, 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 is... You can feel a woman's presence. So there's that worry from the children that this woman's now going to come into this home and, and change... And take so, daddy away And take her. daddy away and, and so much is going to change. But I also question, you know, why it is just the stepwomen that have seen stepmums as evil. I feel like when it's stepdads, they're more seen as the saviour in the sense mm. of, wow, you took her on with all of her children. Aren't and, you amazing? Yeah, you're amazing. Yeah. When, you know, it shouldn't be like that. It, it, it's it, whether you meet someone who's willing to love and nurture you and your children. And, and like Denise and you got said, it's about the communication as well with the parents. And if you yeah. can't communicate with them about your children that you're all trying to love and grow at the same time, yeah. that's where the problem really come in.